Stephen, how nice is it to be talking about a home victory? Very nice. You know, I actually thought we started the game really well. The opening 15, 20 minutes, we started with a real purpose, a real intent, and we got the breakthrough. A terrific goal from Fellas, fifth of the season, which is a, a really good return. I then thought for the next 20, 25 minutes, we showed a little bit of nervousness in our performance. We weren't aggressive enough in our press. In fact, I thought we were really laboured in the press, something that we'd worked on on Thursday. And uh, at times when you pressurise or want to pressurise the game high, you have to be prepared to, to not only press the first one, but go after the second one. And we didn't do that enough. We didn't, and then behind that, we didn't come up quick enough. So it was something that we'd spoke about at half time, and I thought we addressed well. The really pleasing thing is that today was probably, I know at for, the, the Forest Green game we defended particularly well, but it was a different type of game at times today, and I thought it was probably our best defensive performance of the season. I thought we gave up virtually no opportunities. So that's a real plus for us. Clean sheet, it's massive, isn't it? Because it gives you that opportunity to win a game. Of course it does, and I said that in the dressing room after the game. No complaints, again, about our work ethic. But the important thing today was that we did much better in both boxes, and that was vital to the to the win today. I thought we showed a good mentality about us, and uh, you know, even the last seconds there when you're defending a corner kick, um, and really, it's going to decide the game, the outcome of the game. We showed, again, a, a good steal about us. So, you know, really pleased for the group today. There's a nervousness in the stadium. The, the, you know, there always is when the supporters are so desperate for us to win. And that's understandable. Um, but it was a, a really, really important three points for us today. It moves us up several places and, and keeps us in touch with the teams above us. Interesting that you mentioned the nerves from the players because you could feel it after we'd got the goal. It seemed to unsettle us. And is that just a desperation for the lads to kick on and to start trying too hard? Yeah, and I, I think you can see how the group is together after the game, the huddle, all of those things. I had friends down from St Murn that were in to see us for two days and they commented, what an unbelievable atmosphere you've got in this club with just staff, players, everything and the way they're working. And it's true. I know supporters and people on the outside don't see that, but we have. We've got an amazing group that want to do really well, but we've got a group that I think there's a lot of improvement to come. And I said last week in the interview, I thought that our position in the league reflected how we've been doing. Um, and it's up to us, not just me, the players, everybody, to keep improving. But today was a good step forward. I just mean in terms of the mentality and the thing that I spoke about last week, which was... You know, having that mentality and that desire to defend your box, and we did that to great effect today. Great build up to the goal, fella, a great finish. All important to get in front in this division. Very important. You know, and the disappointing thing is that in a couple of the games when we have gone in front, we haven't managed to win. But I thought today, at all times, we looked pretty much in control in terms of not losing goals, not in terms of the game, because I thought for 20 minutes of the, the first half we were far from in control, but we never gave up opportunities and that was a pleasing factor. Critical bit, when we did give up opportunities, when we did, did give up space, it was self-inflicted. A couple of times, yes, a couple of times, but you have to be brave to play the way we want to play. Um, it's very easy to, to take the ball out from your feet and bang it forward, that's, that's football that's easy to play. You have to have brave players, brave staff, brave people to play the way we want. You know, and I think that at times we're, we're, we did it well today, at times not quite, but we're a team evolving all the time. It doesn't happen overnight and we're working tirelessly to improve. That's the one thing I can assure people. And the fans are still getting used to it, aren't they? We saw at the start of the second half when they popped one just past the post that it came from us trying to play out and losing yeah, it. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, we have our an aspect where we talk all the time about the opening 10 minutes of the half and we don't encourage to play in those 10 minutes, we don't. It's something we spoke about, of course, at that particular moment, just Adam thought it was on, he, he chose to, to make that decision and he's an experienced guy and, uh, you know, I trust him with my life, so, you know, he, 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 he can make these types of decisions. But in general, the opening 10 minutes of a game, we try to manage in a certain way. Um, but I thought we managed the second half very well today. What's been the reaction from the boys in the dressing room of all time? No, they're delighted. They know in there that we can play better than that. 
You know, we know we can play better than that. But they've taken great encouragement from the, the work that they did today and the things that we've worked on in the last couple of days. They've taken great encouragement from that. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really pleased for them because they're all working so hard to, to take this club forward. When we are picking up three points every game, you and they have to take questions from us and from the fans. That takes some getting through as well, doesn't it? In terms, sorry, Andy. That takes some getting through as well, and then going on to then produce a performance that gets you three points. Of course, and like I said, you know, prior to the Bradford game, uh, we were showing playoff form. The Bradford game was a good performance. Unfortunately, we played for a long period with ten men, and we made one critical moment. But the performance was good, and then we followed that up today with a, another home win. So, you know, I think over the piece we're showing signs of improving, but. This club carries enormous pressures and enormous expectations and, you know, I have to manage those as well. And I'm realistic with the group about where we are, I'm realistic about the resource, I'm not complaining, I know my job, I know I have to work this group and improve that group, but we're working hard towards that. At times as a manager you think your work's unappreciated, it's what it is, you know, you do and we work tirelessly with these players, but it doesn't happen overnight. Trust me, it doesn't, especially with the type of players we have. I think if you look at the likes of Mo Gaff, his performance today was outstanding. That kid has improved tactically in his understanding of the game in the last eight weeks. Unbelievable to the raw kid that came here. He plays his position, he understands how to pressure, he understands how to recover, he understands his role in possession. And his performance was amazing. We are doing some things right. We are, trust me. Uh, and sometimes you don't get the credit until you, you know, the, the results. I was pleased as well because Gavin, Nath worked tirelessly on set plays, about preparing us for set plays and to get another clean sheet and not lose. It's brilliant for them, so I'm really chuffed with a lot of things to do. And on the set plays, the, the, the attacking ones, they looked like there was a bit of craft there and we were trying something different. There was, and we are set up. I worked on this amazing one the other day <laughs> to pat myself on the back and I was desperate for us to try it. I was shouting. Oh, is that when McCurdy took the shot? Yeah, I, 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 we worked on it. Amy was filming it and there was, the boys were rejoicing over it on the training ground. And I was so desperate for them to do it, but they decided against it. But we had to cut back when I thought that, um, you know, uh, uh, Mo should have possibly scored. We are working on these things. We spent 45 minutes yesterday just working relentlessly on set plays. So we are trying. We're trying on so many things, but it'll take time. Force change, Christy coming in, Mo moving into Bridges slot. Didn't do himself any harm, did he, little Mo? No, Mo was terrific today, and I thought Jones next him worked tirelessly as well and showed great composure at times. So I was pleased. And I thought Christy gave one of his better performances today. I thought he looked really in the mood today and I, I was really pleased with him. Thomas, tactical or anything to be concerned about? No, just a, a decision that I felt was right at the time. I was looking for a certain aspect um, and I didn't get it. So it was a decision that, that I made and I thought Hallam came on and I thought Hallam was excellent again as he was on Tuesday night. Harry McCurdy, he was struggling for a while before he eventually went off. Anything you can say on that one? No, I, I think he got a kick in his calf. You know, I was going to make the change, but he, he, he had a few moments of McCurdy quality and I thought he was still capable of unlocking the door. But he went down again and, you know, I, I'll tell you, I was really pleased. Although he had a couple of wee moments, I was really pleased with Loft's, Loft's performance when he came on. You know, I thought he had a really good opportunity. The goalkeeper made a good save, but I thought he gave us a good physicality. You mentioned again in this interview and repeatedly over the last few weeks that there is this naivety, there is still growing into the game. Did we see that through the closing stages where we're perhaps hoofing it when we should have kept it and things like that? A couple of times, but also, also there's a, a nervousness. You feel it in the stadium, this is normal. We've got some players that haven't played at a club with this type of expectation before. So it, it's natural. But the most important thing was we won today. And I, I thought to a man they, they, they worked extremely hard for that result. Well, that's one from me, Gaffer, the fans, they've shown again, they want this team, this club, they want you to do well, that's all they want is the three points. Of course it is, and the anxiousness of our supporters is because they love this team and they want this team to do well, make no mistake, we're all sitting there, you know, everybody's so nervous because they want the result, that's normal, that is natural in football supporters. 
Um, but it's something we have to manage. The expectation of this club, this support is high, and we know that, and we are trying to, to you know, find find a way to repair them.